and welcome to today's episode. Today we'll be doing cargo cool down tanks operations together with the chief officer and the cargo engineer. And the second mates may attend in order to review the operation. So let's start with the chief officer who is going to explain to us how this operation is conducted. So chief, what are we looking here today? So captain, we will perform a cool down of the cargo cargo tanks uh, in order the vessel to be load ready. The, our target is to have an average temperature of all cargo tanks to minus 130. So now we, we have hill on number three cargo tank and number one cargo tank. So now we need to cool down number two and number four initially. <clears throat> this will take, is not only one time cool down, this will take uh, three days, every two to four hours per day in order to reach uh, our target. So now what we can do is, uh, since we have hill in two tanks, either we can uh, start two spray pumps, one from number one tank to number two, and one pump from number three to number four, or even with one pump we can achieve our goal. Now for, we will test two spray pumps running simultaneously and uh, cool down two and number four simultaneously. So, okay. before we start cool down, we have to confirm that uh, the lineup is ready with the cargo engineer. Okay. So now we are checking uh, unnecessary valves will be closed, the 071, this one should be closed. Uh, all valves uh, leading to forcing vaporizer lens vaporizers are closed and interlocked. Now we have to check uh, subcooler. All the valves on subcooler close. Okay, close. All right. So now, all the master valves. Master valves number four is open. Master valves number two is open. We need to close all the return valves. Yes. Because the tanks are warm, this is uh, most important. We don't want to transfer liquid to the bottom directly. In order to transfer liquid to the bottom directly, we need to have temperature uh, minus 130 average. So, so the return to the cargo tank, which is warm, should be always closed. That's always why closed, we yes. should also uh, visually check on this when we start the operation. This, yes, correct. So now we have lined up all the uh, spray rails, both spray rails first open in all tanks in order when we start to remove vapor lock. Okay. Because now the line is warm, the LNG is colder, it will create gas. <laughs> okay. And there is already a uh, warm gas inside the piping yes. of the spray line, so we need to um, remove the vapor lock as you already said. Okay. Yes. So um, we will start easy, easy as understand the uh, the pump, or do we go to a high rate uh, directly? No, no, easy first. Uh, I will start the pumps one by one in automatic sequence, and after I will take manually. Easy, easy. Uh, we will increase the capacity of the pump, and uh, when we see the temperature uh, around minus 140 on the nose, 150, then we understand that liquid passing. And we will uh, use only port spray rail, which is... Uh, the smaller uh, ones. The smaller ones, and it's enough to pull down the tanks. Okay. The other rail is back up. All right. So, now I will uh, start from cargo tank number one. Now we isolate three and four tanks. Okay. With uh, number one and two. All right. Um, do we need to... Um uh, sorry. Do we need to check that the when we start the operation, uh, visually check outside from the uh, person who is checking that we don't have any leakage into the liquid of course, line. Of course, during uh, cool down operation, uh, we will have uh, persons on deck. We will make uh, uh, rounds to see if there is any leak from any valve or from any line. Joint, All right. Let's say. And the pressure uh, that we start the cool down operation is it safe now? This uh, 90 millibars, as yes. I see. It's uh, safe. It's uh, normal. Uh, initially, the pressure when you cool down the tax it will fall approximately five to ten millibar. Then it will start increasing, depending, of course, of the consumption to the engines. Okay. And oh, we've got the engines. We're not going to use the GCU. No, not GCU. No. Okay, because it's not um, environmental friendly for now. Since we we have the ability, we're at sea, we are sailing. 
we can uh, consume the uh, over excess gas from the cool down to the ship's uh, engines, uh, right. which are the main engines and the uh, diesel generators. Nice. Okay, that's noted. So you've got about 1,800 going to the uh, engines, all four engines which are in use. The two are the main engines and the two are the diesel generators. Uh, we'll show the people what we're talking about later on during the operation. Yes. Um, okay, so the pressure is good. And is there any limit where you will stop the cool down operation when you see something? Yes, initially I want, first of all, number four and number two cargo tanks, I want to be same tem at the same temperature, average temperature. And uh, around minus 100 or one and a half hour each tank, depends which is coming first. Normally it's every one hour, initially, it's uh, every hour it's around 30 Celsius, 35 Celsius. Okay. Uh, and you follow... Later on, of course, it's uh, around 10 Celsius per hour. This is according to cooling down tables, which is have the specific yes, yes, DTT the... requirements. Okay, great. All right. So, um, yeah, let's start. Okay. And uh, I will show the people, um, the viewers, how we do this. All right. Right, so now we will see the cargo plant uh, where we'll start the cargo tank cool down operation. The chief officer here has opened the page on the integrated uh, automated system. Um, so, chief, please so, go ahead and show us. So, since lineup is confirmed, all the unnecessary valves are closed, all the necessary valves are open, we will start uh, one by one the pumps. First, we will start from number one cargo tank. We have ensured uh, the pressure controllers at uh, already set up. One bar here, 90 bar here. Okay, nozzles open. So from here we start spraying pump number one. That's down there on the uh, left, which is the maker's start. Let me show them. It's down there. <coughs> Let's put all valves in auto, 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 open, open, this is close, this is close, so liquid will flow here and all the gas, so. We will start now, number one, spray down. Okay. So this is an inconsistency which comes on the valve, that's correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, and you reset it and it gives the uh, permission to start the pump. I will take manual. What's up a little bit? The spray line is opening. Master one case is open. Temperature of the pump is good. We will increase later on a little bit more. Now it's uh, uh, fully automatic. The pump. Okay. But later on, I will take my. <coughs> when you start cool down, do you print anything from uh, the cargo transfer system? Yes. When I remove vapor, vapor lock, <coughs> I will uh, print uh, CTS uh, report. Okay. And uh, to know when I start cool down. All right. Good. To calculate. Uh, okay. The consumption. Okay. We observe, of course, the pressure. 
half a bar, 0.3 bar, okay, nice. Return now is fully open, that's why. So now let's start number three spray pump. Here, as you can see, the chief officer has gone now to cargo tank number three. He's checking out that all settings have been applied into the uh, auto mode so that the pumps start in automatic. He's checking out that the uh, branch valve is going to be in automatic and then he will go down here and press the spray pump sequence start which is right here exactly. So he's pressed it. Discharge valve open first. Okay. Started. Master valve open. During these operations, you don't perform any. Um Captain. And during these operations, you don't perform any other simultaneous cargo operation. No, no. Um, and of course, you don't perform uh, deck hot work on deck. No, no. no Since deck. there might be a possibility of gas leak, there might be a possibility of gas leak. On our next uh, startup uh, operation that we're going to do, uh, I will be going out with the cargo engineer in order to check out in which points we, uh, what we check, where the gas passes, uh, let's say from tank one to two, and we'll check the manifolds in case that we have any leakage from the valve or anything like that. What we need to check during the cool down uh, operation and to see that everything is okay. So now we have to observe number two tank and number, and number four, four tank, uh, pressure and temperature. Okay, let me so zoom in. Here currently on number two, liquid has not yet arrived. No, it's now easy, we easy. take the valves on manual. Okay. Uh, so we can control a little bit faster. Okay. valve that I will uh, uh, put in auto only is the return valve to okay. be sure to be for safety reasons and you have um, you have the return valve in auto for what reason because of pressure let's say yes accidentally I didn't pay attention and the pressure increase too much on the line the return valve if it's in auto it will open okay and, and you will put a set. set point for that, okay? Yes, I will What put set point do you usually put? Three bars? Uh, around the three bars because I need uh, two bar on the spray rail. Okay. So three bar it's okay. All right, good. Anyway, our release valves uh, is, uh, on the lines are 10 bar, but yeah. of course we don't want to reach this pressure. Of course There is not. no any... Uh, reason. Reason, yes. So easy, easy. We will start the uh, throttling. The, um, return valves to achieve the required uh, pressure on the nozzle. Okay. Okay. So now we will close now number one. Uh, 
I'm closing the nozzles of number one now. Okay. <coughs> because we don't want currently to cool down cargo tank number one. Yes, now we remove the vapor lock on the line. Okay. Both pumps running 38 amperage with a 5 bar uh, discharge pressure, which is okay. Wonderful. Can you perform uh, cool down operations when you have bad weather conditions? Yes, yeah, possible. It's possible yes. if you if you are consuming the over excess gas. Yeah, it's only this. Uh, in this case, maybe the use of GCU may be required. Is, uh, required yes. Okay. But now we're starting with temperatures which are um, on these warm tanks at minus 45. Yes, it's, yeah. uh, it's, a, it's good it's temperature. It's a good temperature. Yes. Um, basically, we kept the hill on cargo tank 1 and 3. Yes, that's why yeah. we, we can do this. Yeah. Normally, we, use, uh, we keep hill in one tank. Correct. So we can use only one spray pump for all tanks. Yeah, but because we, we had a larger amount of hill, we had to uh, put it on a, well, basically yes. we placed it on the smaller tank, which gives us a, a less natural boil off from that tank and a big one. So um, that's why we placed it there. Correct. Change to channel six. Put it on six, okay. I will close now number three nozzles. Okay, since liquid has also removed the vapor lock there. Yeah. Cargo tank is almost at 140 degrees Celsius, so yes. you will be closing the starboard side rail. Correct, number two. Okay, and when you close it, what we need to uh, pay attention is on the on pressure. The pressure here. Uh, to uh, see if we need to or decrease the uh, discharge pump from cargo tank number one or to open the return, which would be, as we said, in auto. Set it on three bars. Yes, later on it will be in auto. Okay. So now the... Uh, Cargo tanks cool down operations is in progress. During this operation, the officer on the watch on the bridge has visual on the uh, trunk deck and he can see first if there's any uh, leakage. So to all officers performing navigation watches, since you're also looking out, you may find uh, a vapor leak uh, on deck. So please report it. And if required, do an ESD, stop the operation and notify, of course, the chief officer. Uh, so that's the reason we have an ESD button also on the bridge, right? Because we may perform cargo STS operations also from the bridge, so you may be required to stop the operations from there. So it's good for you to know that in case you see any vapor leak, just press the button ESD and end of story.